Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to find your creative fire. This is an all new episode of the Find Your Fire series. I'm so excited to be pushing out more of these videos because I just love this series idea. It really helps me feel motivated and inspired and productive. And I put the Self Love Sunday videos to the side just for a little bit so that I could focus more on this series because there's a lot going on right now. I also have a podcast. If you guys did not already know that, you can find Soul Sugar Podcast on Spotify or on iTunes. I'd love to know how you guys are feeling about the podcast so far in the comments below. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up before we begin if you like this Find Your Fire concept so far. And also make sure that you take a moment to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, that you have notification turned on and set to always. And that's all you gotta do for now. Let's get into the video. Tip number one, don't be afraid to do things that you've never done before because this is going to help fuel your inspiration and your creativity. The moment that we step out of our comfort zone and go somewhere we've never been or try new hobbies that we've never done before or activities or whatever it may be, that is when immediately it expands our mind and it brings us into a whole new level of creativity and a whole new thought process. If you hear noise in the background, it is because Lanka has a little cone on his head. It's really, really sad, but he's just walking around exploring. This cone is like hitting the floor and the coffee table and stuff. It's like really sweet to see, but I just cannot wait until he gets to have that thing off of his head. The cone of shame. So just explore, venture out. Think about things that have sounded really interesting to you, but maybe you were a little bit afraid to try or you didn't think you would be able to do. The moment that you allow yourself to actually do it, you're just going to feel a whole new level of creativity. Tip number two is to be curious about absolutely everything. Things that you don't know about, ask questions. Watch documentary about you know, music in the 1960s if you don't know anything about that. If you're interested in singing, take singing lessons. If you love art, go get a canvas and an easel and some, some watercolor or whatever you want to paint with. Go and explore new activities that you've never done before. If you've never done yoga or dance or whatever it may be, the more you experience, the more knowledge you get, the more your mind expands and that in turn just expands your creativity as well. Tip number three, go on a walk. And I don't mean just one time a day, I mean in intervals of your creative zones. So for me, I work from home and I have to be creative all day long. I am lucky enough that I have a creative job, but that means that there's a lot of the time where I am beating myself up because I can't think of anything creative. So what I do and what I highly recommend is to take a moment and say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a step back from this right now and I'm gonna go take a walk around the neighborhood. I have Lanka, so it gives me a good excuse. But even if I just walk around my apartment and put things together where I want them to be or just take a breather and just step outside, not even with Lanka, just by myself to take a deep breath and just kind of move around a little bit. When we start moving our legs a bit more and our body, it in turn makes our brains start moving and that helps us just come up with new ideas and kind of get out of the creative rut that we might be experiencing at that time. I know that it's something so simple, but even the most brilliant artists that we know today, like Hemingway, he would always take a walk to help fuel his creativity as well. Tip number four is to require downtime for yourself. When you are a creative person, you have to give yourself time to breathe. If we just keep trying to pound creativity out of our bodies and to just keep producing and keep sharing and keep creating, we're gonna get to a place that is very well known as burnout. And this is something that a lot of YouTubers experience all the time because we are constantly creating content, constantly coming up with ideas, constantly having to be putting out our creativity all of the time and it just leads to a tremendous amount of burnout. So when you see a YouTuber, take a break and have a little bit of downtime, be gentle and be nice because they need it to get back on track to keep creating because burnout is real and a lot of people experience it so hardcore. Burnout can just creep up on you when you least expect it, when you've just been creating and creating and creating. Because you didn't give yourself that downtime that you deserve, 
that's when you get into the place of burnout. But if you allow yourself to have downtime as you go along, then you're going to end up in a place where you're having a nice balance of everything. Tip number five is to just drench yourself in creative things. So read books that you love, paint, sing, dance, travel, explore. Go out and just allow yourself to absorb all of the beautiful things that are just given to us in life. Flowers, you know, trees, the sunlight through the trees. Like all of these things are beautiful, creative, artistic things that we don't really pay attention to on the day to day. We just kind of go on throughout our day. But if we pay attention to the little things, that's going to help really fuel the way that we see things. Our visual creativity can really go to the next level when we notice the little things in life. So drench yourself in the little things, drench yourself in creativity, and you will be so amazed by how your world will just change in the way that you see it. That is it for this video. It was a quick, easy one, but you know, it is easy to get yourself feeling creative and to get yourself back on track with creativity. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped fuel your creativity and gave you some inspiration. Let me know in the comments below what you do to keep your creativity flowing and I will see you guys very soon in a new video. Bye.